competitive sports. Are they freaking like camping on the mountain? <gasps> and a hot spring? Kimonos? I love that. Yes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> <laughs> Let's break this thing down. Okay. First of all, yes, queen. We have snowboarding. Oh my gosh, you guys. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get like some new sports because... Oh my gosh, you guys, like I miss like having just more sports. I mean, we do have basketball, but honestly, it's not like they're actually playing the game. They're just shooting the ball. We have soccer, kind of the same thing. They're not actually playing. They're just kicking the ball. So this seems a little bit more involved. I would love for there to be like some sort of like sporting competition, like some sort of like winter sports. I saw the snowboarding. I saw the skiing. I saw the sledding. Oh my gosh, you guys. I created a like a snow lodge kind of like winter resort <gasps> what if we got resorts okay okay I'm getting ahead of myself I'm getting ahead of myself but I created a resort a while ago and all of this would have been perfect now my question with this how is it going to work with terrain so say for instance we've created like our own area and you know we do different things with elevation how is the routing going to work with whatever type of terrain we create will they just not be able to use it are there designated areas where they'll be able to like um like snow not snow <laughs> like surf and ski and like sled kind of like how in sulani how you can swim in open waters but you can't swim in like the water in like willow creek or magnolia promenade like is this the only place that you will be able to do those things because of different routing issues in the game right don't know but i am here for this look we have a nice little bang situation with some um loose you know hair just kind of tossed to the side this oh my gosh i i love the goggles with the um toboggan or a skull cap what wherever you're from the hat <laughs> let let's move on yes major air and i love the ski lifts i wonder if this would actually like be some sort of like transportation like can we use this to get from the bottom of the ski lodge to the top or if it's just decorative i hope that it's like a transportation thing even if it's kind of more like just a teleportation thing like how the elevators are to get you from point a to point b but i just i hope that this ski lift is like an actual thing love the fact that she's getting major air here this is an amazing shot I like the outfit itself. The colors aren't exactly my thing, but it's cool. I love the snowboards. I wonder if we'll be able to own snow snowboards or if it's something that just appears when you do an interaction. So what I mean by that is if we can actually like bring this along with us in our inventory or if it's going to be kind of like how the skating is in seasons, like the shoes just pop on your feet when you get to the skating rink. Hopefully it's the former. I would love to have a snowboard in my inventory and be able to choose the color and coordinate it with my outfit. But so far, I am impressed. The backdrop is beautiful i'm so happy that they went with a japanese inspired snow town this is giving me like just looking at the whole trailer this is totally giving me terrace house vibes um gosh which iteration of terrace house i love terrace house if you're not familiar with terrace house it's basically a it's a reality show. It's a Japanese reality show. It is available on Netflix. It's really, really popular um, in several places around the world. And it's a show where six strangers live in a house. Now, they're not, like, stuck in a house. Like, they can still work or go to school or do whatever. And a lot of them come on to the show to, you know, learn about different people, be inspired by other people's work ethic, to promote themselves, like, all sorts of people. There have been artists on there. There's been... I'm fangirl. I'm fangirl because I love that show and I can't wait to another season come out on Netflix. But I say all that to say, based on what I've seen from that show, because there have been people who've done snowboarding and other winter sports, this is very, very spot on to what I've seen from Tara's house. Let's move on. <laughs> Yes, the skiing and the sledding. I love that the sledding is not just one person because it frustrates me beyond 
beyond any means how in the um what is it island living pack we have like these huge boats but only one person can get on it it doesn't make any sense so i love that two people can get on this little sledding thing love that and you could fail <laughs> love this town i love the scenery i love the mountain in the backdrop i love the traditional um japanese architecture with the windows i love them i love it looks like we're gonna get some new like roofing detail like some new sort of roofing shingles here for that obviously new um walls or it looks like a new wall panel if i'm looking at this house in the front this tree looks new also this definitely looks like a newer tree. I love the lanterns, very reminiscent of the lanterns that we got with City Living. I love this traditional architecture back here. I, I'm here for it. I love the little bamboo trees. I just like the detail that I'm seeing so far in this little town. Hopefully we will get a decent amount of lots. And it looks like, it looks like this is going to be a place that we are gonna be able to live at. It only makes sense. Um, to me, especially with it being an expansion pack, I'm assuming that this is going to be a residential world. I really hope so. Let's move on. Yes. Yes, Bob. Yes, Bob, come through. I love the hair. I think the sweater on top of the jacket is a bit much. Maybe if it was like a sweater on top of like a cute little button down. But hey, loving the pants. Those shoes look like base game shoes, but they work. I love the traditional sandals and the kimonos here. I love the little flower piece in her hair. I love this bridge. It looks like my Sims are gonna be able to walk across this bridge, which is beautiful. I love this little stone piece here. I I'm just, I'm loving it. And that definitely is a new tree. I have not seen that tree before. But I love it and I'm here for it. This tree in the top left corner. Even this little fencing. I mean, I think that would probably be like a debug item. But just those little details. So, so nice. Let me go back just a little bit. Oh, no. I didn't mean to go back that much. Hold on. Okay, so... We have a couple of outfits here. I like this full body outfit. I would imagine it's super cold with all of that snow in here. I love the hat. It definitely looks very, very sporting. We got some new goggles, just some nice new outerwear and we definitely need it. I mean, it's been a while since season's come out um, and I just want more heavy duty outdoor clothing. This is, like I said, definitely is giving me Terrace House vibes when they would go out and get noodles and have sake and just enjoy some of the local restaurants. I really, really love that, you guys. You know I love me a good restaurant, honey, so I am going to love creating some Japanese-inspired restaurants here i love the little bulletin board i love these lanterns i like all of the little signage and stickers and things like that even this little bit i mean i don't know i just love the little details here and it looks like they're having like japanese like traditional japanese food i, I see pho i see some noodles i see um some new sodas so yeah, I'm definitely here for all of this. Ooh, I actually like this shirt. Maybe not enough swatch, but I like this shirt. Okay, even like some of the little kittens and things like that. I like that, I, I love that. Okay, let's move on, let's move on. And a train, so oh my gosh. I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to use this train to get from point A to point B. It would be so legit if we could. Um, kind of like how in the sims 3 late night how they had like the subway system that would be so good if we can't i'm not expecting to but it'll be a great surprise if we're able to actually use this train since they're kind of giving it a featured spot in this um trailer love the train station it's simple but it's cute okay yeah okay hold on is this the other side of the train station so if this is indeed the other side of the train station, and I know like in Japan, um, public transportation is integral. Like it's crucial because 
there's like there's just so many places to go and so many people so it just makes sense environmentally to use public transportation right so this looks like it could be the other side of the train station i mean i'm just basing on the public bathrooms this little clock here this looks like a train station to me and it looked like they came from outside of that station did they not let me go back Okay, so I didn't see like a door close or anything, but this definitely looks like the other side of the train station, you guys. I feel like we might get like some transportation. I mean, maybe I'm reaching, maybe I'm just hoping for too much, but hey, keep hope alive. Based on this though, I love the plaid skirts. I love the cute little cardigans here. It looks like there's a little bow on here. That's very, very school girl. I've seen this style a lot in Japanese culture, um, whether it's just been from pictures I've seen online, from anime to, um, just different types of media that I've seen. Obviously, I haven't been to Japan, but that's definitely on my bucket list. Always wanted to go to Japan since elementary school, you guys. Oh my gosh. But anyway, I love, I love, love, love the fashion here. Um, I like the bold colors. Um, I love this ponytail. Looks like just one big braid going back. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Yeah, just more fashion here. And I love this little, it looks like we're gonna get a new greeting of them being able to bow. I love that. I know that the Japanese culture is really big on showing respect. And I like that little nuanced um, piece of animation that they added. I really, really like it. And I think her hairstyle is cute. <laughs> I'm just glad that more than one of Sam can do something at a time and like actually move together. I love the way the snow looks. It definitely looks like it has like a nice bit of volume to it. Um, again, this is like where my concern comes in as far as us creating our own places for Sims to be able to sled and snowboard and ski. If that's going to be a thing, if that's going to affect the terrain, um, if we edit it ourselves, I just don't know. Um, but I'm just here for the gameplay. Yes. Yes. See, and like, this is why I say, I hope that this is like a competitive thing. I hope we get some competitive, um, competitive winter sports. I feel like we need that. I feel like we just need more aspirations underneath the fitness also because we only have like bodybuilder under athletic and that's it. And, and I think that's the only aspiration that has like one category. So maybe if, you know, there's something that says like, I don't know, sports superstar or like winter champion or something like that. I just feel like we need more aspirations underneath the athletic um, aspiration. And um, yeah, I just hope we get that. I'm loving the lights though. It looks very, very pretty at night. Um, I like the frosting on the trees. Um, question though. Well, I mean, I think they said that you don't need seasons in order to get this. So maybe it's just this type of weather here all the time. I mean, obviously it's called Snowy Escape. Um, so yeah, I guess I just answered my own question. <laughs> Moving on. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I love, I feel like we're gonna be able to learn these tricks. Um, so I'm assuming that we're getting a new skill. Now, I wonder if the snowboarding skill and the skiing skill are going to be separate skills or if they're just going to be together. I have no idea. I would imagine that they will be different. I mean, the moves are similar, but at the same time, they're different. I mean, obviously with snowboarding, your feet are more together the whole time. Skiing, your feet are apart. So I'm hoping that we get two separate skills. I mean, I would imagine in real life, it will translate, but there will be some sort of like hurdles that someone will have to get over. So hopefully the Sims will look at it the same way. And again, you guys, I'm hoping that Skylift is like actual transportation, even if it's just a teleportation from point A to point B. I feel like it only makes sense, especially if they're gonna go up this big mountain range, right? I love that there are a couple a couple of like um, ski jumps here. 
um, just to add like difficulty. I wonder if we'll be able to like choose, you know, what move we want to do. Maybe that's just asking for too much. Um, maybe there's like certain routines that we could do kind of like with the ice skating and roller skating um, skill in seasons. But hey, I'm here for it. I love the rock scaling. I love, love, love the rock scaling. It's nice to actually see what they added in the fitness pack actually coming into fruition. I think it'll be cool for storytelling to like, ooh, what if this is a competition? Because I know like things like rock climbing and bouldering, like those are like real certified competitive sports. So I was going to say it would be nice for storytelling if, you know, your sim is training and they're like they're using the stationary rock climbing thing from the fitness pack and then they're using it in real life in this new world. I wonder what this new world is going to be called. But anyway, I am here for it. I love the detailing. I like that there's different um, grab holds at different areas. I like how the snow kind of sits like on the top. It, it looks really, really nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> And I just love the fact that you can like camp on top of the mountain. So I would imagine that there are like certain areas that you have to do this. Like maybe you have to like dig out the fire pit because when they left, it looked like it was just covered in snow. I like that we're getting a new tent. I love all of the new outerwear. My favorite right here is this girl coming out of the tent here. I just really, really love what she has going on. Again, the swatch is questionable but i like the overall aesthetic but yeah i think we might have to like dig out the fire i don't know i just can't wait to see more gameplay on this and the hot spring <laughs> so like when i saw this i i thought about um just terrace house and other like japanese media that i've Seen like my whole life hot springs is such a thing a lot of people believe that it has healing ab uh, abilities and you know connections to spirit spirit can I talk spirituality but also it's just nice and relaxing and I know that a lot of people use this as a place to socialize and connect so I really really love that and Hopefully you can get more people than you can in a hot tub. I think in a hot tub you can get eight sims. So you would imagine that in like a hot spring you can get more than eight. But hey, knowing the sims, we probably won't. But we'll see. But so far I'm loving the overall aesthetic here. I love the um, roof lines here. Very, very beautiful. Um, these lanterns and these windows actually look like base game. But they work because how they're oriented. I could totally be wrong. It could definitely be new. I love the texture on the wall here. I'm not sure if it's a wall panel or if it's like a, an additional texture that you add. I love, love, love the fencing here. And I'm just here for the vibes. Here for the vibes. And it looked like we got a new chimney. Yeah, this looks like a new chimney or a new fireplace. Love it. Love these hanging lights here. I like all of the little signage, the little um, drapes here. Ooh, and that light. I like that light. <laughs> I also like how they have the little mountain in the background here. Um, I'm not sure if that's like a painted piece or if that's wall paneling, but I'm here for it. Here for it. Yeah, in the public um, shower spaces, I like the fact that the Sims just don't get naked. Like they keep on their bottom. So I could see this definitely also a, like if you're building like a public swimming pool or something like that for Sims to rinse the chlorine off. I like that. I'm not sure what this is uh, I'm not familiar with that but I love love this tile wall paneling it is beautiful so beautiful it looks like we're getting some new sliding doors that um, fit more with the more traditional um, Japanese homes I love that I'm not sure if this floor tile is new but this beam here if it is just a separate beam is definitely new and we have a mirror so I'm not sure if that mirror comes as part of like this shower attachment or if it's separate more than likely this is like all one unit with like the soap the shower and the mirror i mean i like that i mean i think that's cute um it'll be nice if we can get those separate but if not i'm still here for it and we got some new lockers oh okay we'll come back we'll come back we'll come back 
But yeah, I love the new locker, so I could definitely see this like in a spa. I can see this in a gym. I, I love it. I like how it has these little cubbies here. Now, I'm not sure if these baskets are standard or if we can just slot them here. Hopefully, we can slot them here ourselves. Um, and it looks like we're getting some new sinks. So, I'm definitely here for it. I just love all of the public signage. And we have some new drapes here. I love the little kimono. Um, well, I guess it's not technically a kimono. I, I like this outfit on the little girl here. And it looks like we're getting a couple new sweaters here. Oh, I love the top knot. Again, the swatch is questionable, but I love the new top lap. I actually like the gradation of this hair a little bit. Like, it's streaked in a way that's flattering, at least more flattering in, than what they've done in the past. But I like it. And I like her hair, too. I want to see the front of it. I actually really, really like this shade of peak. Okay. Love this. This scene is a dream. I love this fireplace. I love this painting on a wall. Um, this looks like it might be a wall panel, which is fine, but I love just the texture that it brings to the room. Loving the doors as per usual. The kimonos, the sandals are so nice. I hope the kids get the same type of sandals. These look like the flip flops that are just from base game. Hopefully they get the ones that come with this pack. Love, love, love these seats. It looks like there's like a little... I don't know, some sort of like fabric draped over, which I'm totally here for. Um, it looks like there might be a version with this fabric and a version without, just based on what I can see here. I would love that. And I like this cute little plant on this round table. We're getting some new poof seam like. And again, with those curtains. Yeah, let's move on. Okay, obviously we're getting some more creepy crawlies, but it looks like they're at like some sort of national park. She's holding like a little brochure brochure here, or they might be on their way to like a shrine because I know that in Japan, or at least from what I've seen, they visit the shrine pretty often. Here's that top knot hair um, dude that I was telling you guys about. I love it. I love it. It's nice. And it looks like either this is like some sort of gazebo or maybe even a well. Love the lights, love the scenery, let's move on. Yeah. <gasps> okay, hold on. So like, I don't know if they did this just stylistically or if we're gonna get like an actual social media interface in the game. I would love that because obviously you could post things to social media in the games but it really doesn't do anything. So it would be nice if we're able to like view our posts like if we're able to go to like our screen captures it will be like a subset for like the social medias and it'll have like likes and like we can get updated on how many people like them and if we can like time stamp them or like um map them but looking at this again there's that braided ponytail i like love this outfit i want to see more of it and i just like all of the traditional things that she's paying respects to love it so I know like with these, I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm sorry, you guys. I know like with these, a lot of people like, <sighs> I could totally be wrong here. So I feel like I shouldn't even speak on it. But from what I've seen and what I remember, and this is just like my first like reaction, I've seen people like write wishes on here and like they'll try tie it to a tree and I think like if it falls off or if the ribbon falls off, like it'll come true or something like that. Or like they write like things that they like pray for, like success and like in like a like a test or something or like with their job or something or in love. So that's what it looks like she's doing here. I could definitely be wrong about how that process goes, but I've seen this before. Love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just love it and hopefully we'll be able to do group poses with kids because as it currently stands you can't pose like for pictures with kids like you can only pose well you can pose with kids but okay you can only pose with your own height group so kids can only pose with pictures with kids and adults well teens and up can only post pictures with teens and up so hopefully we'll be able to mash up those two life stages or groups of life stages and take pictures together. I love this little icon here. And look at the toddler, so cute. I wonder what they're gonna 
call this, but this looks like some sort of festival, kind of similar to how we um, have the festivals in City Living. Um, but maybe this might be more permanent since this world is dedicated to um, this sort of culture, it seems. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it looks like we're going to get different, like, um, it looks like we're going to get, like, different paths, like, different... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Different slopes that we'll be able to use. So it looks like maybe like there's an easy, an intermediate, difficult, like I see purple, green, yellow, and red. So this might be like a danger zone and I see like a little caution thing. So it looks like we might have different levels um, of like routes that we can take. That's what it seems like. Um, outfits, outfits are okay. I mean, it is what it is. And it looks like there's gonna be like some sort of like spirits here. I don't know, maybe this, maybe the shrines or are more spiritual where people who might be a little bit more enlightened can see, don't know. Yeah, it looks like the little kid can see. So maybe the kid is like pure of heart and they can see that spirit and everyone else is just oblivious. I really, really like this fanny pack. I hope that it's an accessory and not like stuck to the jacket, but knowing the Sims, it'll be stuck to the jacket. Here for it. <laughs> Y'all know I love me a good build. So yeah, it looks like we're definitely getting some more roof tiles. This tree looks brand new, this red tree. I just love it. I can't wait to see more. Um, it looks like, is this a lake? So I don't know if this is like an object or if we are able to build lakes. So I posted on Twitter that it would be nice if we'll be able to create natural lakes like similar to how we could in the sims 3 with the terrain editing tools so i don't know if this is like a little hint to that i hope so i will be totally here for that um but yeah i just i can't wait to see more of the traditional japanese architecture and furniture that they um that they present and i i'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to mix the traditional with a more modern aesthetic <laughs> love it yes create your sanctuary so i feel like maybe this is going to be a new skill or a new something even if it's hidden kind of similar to the wellness skill that you can achieve through yoga and meditation and like centering yourself i feel like this might be a new skill subset fingers crossed i hope so i feel like studying and discipline and things like that i feel like that is something so integral to the japanese culture and i would love to see that expressed in this pack here for it here for it period just beautiful just beautiful and it's like i don't want to spend too much time on here because i've already been in this video long enough i'm sure but just beautiful, like all of the details. I see like little things to hang like your winter clothes. It looks like we're getting a little space heater here. <gasps> love that open fireplace. Yes, I love this traditional floor. I love, love, love that traditional floor. And I like the dining. So it looks like we're gonna be able to sit at the lower table. I'm not sure what it's called, I'm sorry. But it looks like we'll be able to dine like sitting down on the floor on these pillows in a more traditional Japanese style. Looks like we have some more Japanese food. I see some um, some sushi here. I'm here for it, definitely here for it. Yes, yes. And chopsticks, hold on. I feel like, I'm not sure if we can already eat with chopsticks in city living. Yeah, I think you can eat with chopsticks, like certain meals, but it's nice to see that again. <laughs> yeah, it definitely looks like we're going to get more of that um, interaction between the different age states because as it is right now, I've never seen a toddler be able to hit somebody in the face with snow. So I'm here for that. Totally here for that. Yeah, and I know vending machines are a big deal in Japan um, just for that convenience. Love the scenery, though. Love the lanterns. Love the kimonos and a more traditional dress. And the wiping out. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a skill. So, anyway, you guys, final thoughts. Here for this. Here for this pack. I'm also... 
I'm just imagining the controversy that's going to come um, just from this pack. A lot of people are going to say, well, all this could have been done with seasons. Totally, totally get that. But I like that this is separate because it allows them to be more detailed. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I know this video is long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. It helps me and the channel out more do you know. And feel free to subscribe and be sure to click that bell. That way you never miss an upload from me. And yeah, you guys, sound off in the comments. I want to hear all your thoughts. Um, do you guys think I'm right? What do you think? How do you feel? Are you here for this pack? I'm definitely here for this pack, honey. I am here for this pack. I need it in my game yesterday. I just have so many ideas for builds and activities for my Sims to do, like you just don't even know. I feel like this expansion pack is definitely going to be well worth the money. So anyway, you guys, hopping off here. Um, and I will talk to you in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Woo! Woo!